a squared plus b squared plus c squared equal to 200 a b c are integers a plus b plus c is what so first we can say without loss of generality we consider that a b c are at least zero because at the end we consider all possible signs because a squared b squared c squared sign has no effect on the main equation now we want to analyze something if x is even general number a variable and x squared is 4q squared which is multiple of 4 if x is odd for example 2q plus 1 x squared equal to 2q plus 1 squared you can if you don't know the identity you can write like this 2q plus 1 2q plus 1 4q squared plus 2q plus 2q, 4q plus 1. So you can factor this part is multiple of 4, it's 4, for example, a plus 1. Also, uh, you can prove that it is 8, so 8 times, for example, t plus 1, but in this problem, we don't need that. So we've proved that the remainder of a perfect square when divided by 4 is 0 or 1 here. Now, a squared plus b squared plus c squared is 200. So we know the remainder when divided by 4 for these numbers equal to 0 or 1. 0 or 1, 0 or 1, 200 when divided by 4 is 0. So the only possible case is 0, 0, 0. So we can conclude that A is even, it's 2A1, B is 2B1, and C is 2C1. A squared plus B squared plus C squared. equal to 2a1 squared plus 2b1 squared plus 2c1 squared equal to 200. And then we can conclude that 4a1 squared plus 4b1 squared plus 4c1 squared equal to 200. Then we divide both sides by 4. It will be a1 squared plus b1 squared plus c1 squared equal to 50. Okay, now we can say without loss of generality, suppose a1 is greater than, for example, equal b1 equal to c1, okay? Because we want to a, find a plus b plus. So first we say, for example, it is 49 the greatest one for a1 because 8 squared is 64 greater than 50. 49, it will be 1, 0, 1 answer. If it is 36, 6 squared, then b1 squared plus c1 squared is 14. Or 14, 9 plus 5 is not good. And 4 plus, it's not possible. So 36 is not possible. We can erase it. The next one, 5 squared, 25. You can say, okay, 25, 0. 25, 16, 9. Finish now if a1 squared is 4 squared, 16. If you consider 16, if you consider all of them 16, it will be 48. It cannot reach 50. Okay, so we've reached this. Now, we want to find a plus b plus c. a plus b plus c equal to 2 times a1 plus a2 plus a1 plus b1 plus c1. Now here, we've reached that a1, b1, c1. So let's write the cases. The problem wants a plus b plus c, a1, b1, c1. So let's write the case a1, b1, c1. And we want to write all possible cases for a plus b plus c. In the first case, plus minus 7, plus minus 1, plus minus uh, 0. Plus minus 0 is 0. So plus minus 7, plus minus 1, 0. And here we consider a, b, 1, c, 1, and then a plus b plus c is twice of that. So here the next one, plus minus 5, plus minus 5, 0, plus minus 5, plus minus 0. Last case, plus minus 5, plus minus 4, plus minus 3. Plus minus 5, plus minus 4, plus minus 3. In the first case, if we consider 7 plus 1 is 8. 7 minus 1, and you can consider plus minus. Minus, if you negate all signs, it will be negative of 7 minus 5, 6. 
plus minus 6. For next one, plus minus 5, plus minus 10, and 0. Next one, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, plus minus 12. And uh, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 minus 3, 6. Plus minus 6, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 minus 4, 4 plus minus 4, 4 plus 3, 7, minus 5, 2 plus minus 2. So if you consider all possible cases for a plus b plus c, we should consider twice of that. Plus minus 16, plus minus 12, plus minus 20, 0. We are multiplying these cases by 2. Because a is 2a1, b is 2b1, c is 2c1. Plus minus 24. The next one, plus minus 12, we've considered here. So plus minus 8 and plus minus 4. Okay, so we found all possible cases for A plus B plus C. If you had questions, send a message to my WhatsApp number. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks, bye.